Good afternoon, welcome to Manning IS. We will start this question in Marmand MCQs. First question with respect to biological communities. Some species are important in determining the ability of a large number of other species to persist in the community. Such species are called keystone species, allopatric species, sympatric species, or threatened species. So, the answer here is it is. Keystone species. Keystone species, they determine the ability of large number of other species to persist in a community. They have large significance in a particular community or in a particular environment. Example of keystone species is tiger or elephant. Right? Tiger, elephant, lion, these are keystone species. The existence of keystone species depends on the existence of other environments. For example, if tiger and elephant are abolished in a, in a in a forest, then obviously uh, human interference will, will increase so much, and obviously other species will also get threatened. So that's why these are called as keystone species. Okay. Next, what is threatened species? If if a particular species, uh, the number of a particular um, species has uh, the number of a particular species has declined significantly, then that will, that can be called as or uh, that it can be called as threatened species, right? Next, what is uh, what is allopatric species and what is sympatric species? Allopatric species means when species development occurs after the habitat uh, habitat uh, division by fragmentation. Okay, so this is a particular environment and habitat got fragmented. Then new species is created, get, getting created here. These are called as allopatric species. If new species are getting created in the same environment. From their ancestors, that is called as sympatric species. So here, answer is keystone species. The most important species in a particular community are called as keystone species. Then a pesticide, which is chlorinated hydrocarbon, is spread on a food crop. The food chain is food crop, rat, snake, hawk. In this food chain, the the highest concentration of pesticide. Would accumulate in which of the following highest concentration of pesticide would accumulate in food crop, rear, snake, or hawk? Obviously, there are four. Um, this is a food chain. The level one is food, food crop, then rear, that means rear eats food crop, snake eats rear, and hawk eats snakes. So, what is the highest concentration of pesticide? The phenomenon here it is called as biomagnification. Biomagnification is a term in environment in uh, magnification. It is a term in environment which talks about uh, which talks about the increase of concentration. That talks about increase of concentration of uh, different species. Right, of in, in, in concentration of toxic substances, of toxic uh, of toxicity, right, toxicity in higher tropic level, right. That means here hawk will have maximum toxicity. Accumulation of to pesticide will be at hawk as the maximum highest concentration of accumulation will be in hawk. That this process is called as biomagnification. Biomagnification. Always the topmost species on the food chain will accumulate higher level of toxicity, right? Higher concentration of toxicity. So the top level here is hawk. So hawk, so D is the answer that will accumulate pesticide. Then consider the following statements that is photosynthesis, respiration, decay of organic matter, volcanic action, which of the following which of the uh, are carbon dioxide to the carbon cycle in the earth. Photosynthesis obviously it do not it absorb the 
Genau. Hm. Toll. Komisch. Komm, beide nochmal starten, über Sinn. So, first of the following statement that is photosynthesis, respiration, decay of organic matter and volcanic action. Photosynthesis, it absorbs carbon dioxide, it does not emit carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So, first option is wrong. Then, respiration, decay of organic matter and volcanic eruption. In case of volcanic eruption, volcanic eruption also carbon dioxide is emitted to the atmosphere. Right. Decay of organic matter. Decay of organic matter. Respiration. Two and three options are also right. Two and three options are also right. Right. Next. The Himalayan rays is very rich in species diversity. Which one of the following is not? Which one among the following is the most appropriate reason for this phenomena? It has high rainfall that supports luxuriant vegetative growth. It is confluence of different bio biogeographical zones. Exotic and invasive species have not been introduced in the region. Less human, it has less human interference. Why Himalayan rains has very rich species in species diversity? It has high rainfall, no, the Himalayas region do not have high rainfall. Only eastern Himalayas, the northeastern areas, they have high rainfall. So, this option is wrong. It is a confluence of different biogeographical zones. It is, this option is right. Exotic and invasive species have been introduced in the region. When invasive species or exotic species get introduced in the region, biodiversity do not increase. When invasive species they enter in a particular region, they do in a particular community or environment. They dominate the whole environment and spread throughout the environment, and other species get threatened. So that do not increase the species diversity, that reduces the species diversity. So C option is completely wrong. Then it has less inter human interference. That is a reason, or that is also a reason why there is species, but less human and what that is a reason. But the most appropriate reason will be. That is a confluence of different biological zones. When different biological zones confluence, uh, they confluence with each other. What happens is that the, the reason is that this area is called as ecotone, right? When two community, they two environment, they mix with each other. That this common region is called as ecotone, right? Ecotone, and in those ecotone area, they are part of it is a Experience is age effect. Okay, age effect is experienced in this ecotone area. And this age effect um, ecotone region. Okay. Age effect means in this in these areas of ecotone, we see high number of high species biodiversity. High species biodiversity is seen in the regions of ecotone region and this is called as exogen, this is called as age effect. So C is the answer. Okay. So that's why uh, it is a confluence of different biogeographical zones. So it, it is one type of ecotone that develops in the Himalayan region. That's why it is a high biodiversity zones having high species biodiversity diversity. Next question. Himalayan range is very rich in special diversity. Which one of the following is the most appropriate reason for this phenomenon? Himalayan range is very rich in special diversity. Most appropriate reason of this phenomenon. We have already discussed this. Next question. I will see. The rare data book published by Indian Science Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, IUCN. Right, IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Okay. 
so we can say that um, uh, Asiatic lion is endemic to Gill forest, right? So these endemic species and plants are not mentioned in IUCN, uh, IUCN red list or red data book. So only to only that is the answer, right? Remember IUCN, IUCN established in 1948. IUCN established in 1948 along with WHO. WHO also established in 1948 and headquarters is at Geneva, Switzerland. Headquarter is at Geneva, Switzerland. Okay, I will headquarter here in Geneva, Switzerland. Which one of the following is not a seat for in situ method of conservation of flora? Which one of the following is not a seat for in situ method of conservation of flora. Biosphere Reserve, Botanical Garden, National Park, Wildlife Sanctuary. Which of the following is not a seat for in situ method of conservation of flora? It is Biosphere Reserve or Botanical Garden or National Park. Yes, in situ conservation. What do you mean by in situ conservation? In situ conservation means when in the natural environment, you protect a particular species or right, that is called as in situ conservation. When you take it to some another protected environment and preserve there, that is ex situ conservation. So, in situ conservation is national park, which is not a in situ conservation. National park is in situ, in -situ conservation. Wildlife sanctuary is in situ conservation. Biosphere is in situ conservation. But botanical garden, this is not in situ, in -situ conservation. Botanical garden means you are uh, you are bringing different species and protecting those species or growing those species in botanical garden. So that is not an in situ conservation method. That is an ex situ conservation method. Okay. Then the acidification. The acidification of ocean is increasing. Why is this phenomenon cause is, cause, is a cause of function? Growth and survival of calcareous phytoplankton will, adverse, will be adversely affected. The growth and survival of coral reefs will be adversely affected. The survival of some animals that are phytoplankton in larvae will be adversely affected. The cloud seeding and formation of clouds will be adversely affected. If the acidification increases, what will happen? At least this cloud shading of formation of clouds will have not be affected. This will not affect it because it is about ocean acidification. Right? You should not think it so much in a particular question. Just simply think that whether ocean acidification has any direct relationship with the cloud shading, no. Answer is no. So option one is right because it will uh, it will hamper the growth and survival of alpha hydrocarbon. It will adversely affect this, right? The growth of survival of coral reefs will also be this is right. Survival of some animals that have phytoplankton in larvae will also larvae will also be affected. So zooplankton, phytoplankton, coral leaves they will be affected because of ocean acidification. What is ocean acidification? Ocean acidification means increase of carbon dioxide in a particular kind, aquatic environment or marine environment. So one, two, three, these all options are right. A is the answer. Which of the following groups animals belongs to cat category of endangered species? Great Indian Western Moss Bear, Red Panda, Asiatic Wild as Kashmir Stark, Seetal. Which, which are belongs to endangered species? Kashmir Stark, Seetal, Blue, um, Blue, Great Indian Western, Snow Leopard, Swamp Deer, Racers Monkey, Saras, Lion Tail, Rokako, Block. This is Hanuman Langur Chital. Endangered species, this Asiatic wild layers, red panda, mox deer, and wake in a A is the answer. Okay. In, these are published in IOCN book. Endangered species are uh, 
which has progressed in Iocian red data group. Now, which of the following states is lion tail macaco found in natural habitat? Lion tail macaco. In which of the following states lion tail macaco is found in its natural habitat? Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh. Natural habitat. It is found in Kerala in the Western Ghats. So B is a uh, right answer. We are getting lion tail mokak, which is uh, which is a vulnerable species, right? Lion tail mokak is a vulnerable species as uh, as per Iocian red list. Okay, it is found in the tropical rainforest of India. So let's say endangered species. Okay. Lantern we have recently discussed it is endangered species. Lantern mokaka is a mokak is an endangered species and it is listed in the appendix one of sites. Appendix oh, appendix one of sites and schedule one of wildlife protection act. Fragmentation of habitat obviously invasion of alien species, promotion of better energy. How? Promotion of vegetarianism can be will become a threat to threat to biodiversity. It is impossible, right? Promotion of vegetarianism can never be a threat to biodiversity. So one to three options will be right regarding biodiversity. Invasion of alien species obviously threat to biodiversity. I have said, for example, lamp, recently sea lamprey was in US. Sea lamprey in the USA that is an alien species. A, um, it is an invasive species in USA. It's a fish right, that, is a, that contains the existence of other fishes and aquatic, uh, aquatic species in a particular aquatic species. All of us get second. Fragmentation of habitat that means a particular, for example, this is a forest and road infrastructure occurs here, or some type of barrier occurs here, then fragmentation of habitat occurs. Right. Next. Consider the following agriculture practices: cultural bunting, relay cropping, zero tillage. In the context of global climate change, which of the above help in carbon sequestration or storage in the soil? Contour bonding, that means in the hilly areas, the uh, agriculture practices is called contour bonding. Relay cropping means uh, one, one cropping is not finished, another crop will start. That is relay cropping. So, with respect to help in carbon sequestration, this relay cropping or contour bonding, in these things, uh, delays occur, that's why. Uh, carbon sequestration that do not occur storage uh, that that do not help in carbon storage especially the first uh, here it is the zero tillage where there is no tractor is used or mechanization is used just the seeds are thrown to the soil zero tillage natural farming in those cases carbon sequestration that occurs maximum in the soil so three only is the answer
Which one of the following terms describes not only the physical stress occupied by the entire organism but also functional role in the community of organisms? Yes, functional role, physical space and functional role. This is described by the term that is ecological niche. This ecological niche term that describes physical stress on occupied organisms and its functional role of the community, in its functional role in the community of organisms that is called as ecological niche. Ecological needs in a particular environment will be different for a different species, right? So, B is the answer. In which of the following categories, if protected areas in India are local people not allowed to collect the use of bio, use the biomass? Biosphere reserves not not allowed in which local people are not allowed is it biosphere reserves or national parks wetlands declared environmental convention or wildlife sanctuary it's allowed in wildlife sanctuary even they practice agriculture in ladder and biosphere region because unesco has a biosphere program that includes the participation of local people wetlands it is in case of chilika various types of wetland Fishing is also allowed, so this option is not also not uh, this option is also uh, this also also allowed. If anything not allowed, it is national park. National park has core areas, buffer areas. In those areas, local people are not allowed to collect and use the wildness. In case of national park, so B is the answer. B is the answer. Okay. With reference to eco-sensitive zone, consider the following statements that are correct. Eco-sensitive zones are those areas that are declared under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now, see eco-sensitive, why eco-sensitive zone? It talks about environment. It's not talking about wildlife, so this is wrong. It is declared under the Environmental uh, Protection Act EPA 1976 Ecological Sensitive Zone. It protects environment. The purpose of the declaration of eco sensitive zone is to prohibit all kinds of human activities. No, it is to not prohibit all kinds of human activities. It allows certain agricultural practices, it allows certain practices of collecting the biomass from uh, for the local people. But new additional structure, industrialization, or large projects are prohibited teams if a area is declared as eco sensitive zone. Generally, around 10, kilos, 10 kilometers from Nesta Park are declared as ecological sensitive. Zone. So, one only option is the right answer. In India, cluster in Goa is traditionally used as a vegetable or an animal feed. But recently, the cultivation of this has assumed significance. Cluster wind, why it is assumed significance? It is the oil extracted from the seeds is used in the manufacture of biodegradable plastics. The gum made by the seeds is used in extraction of cell gas. The leaf extract from this has properties of antihistamines. Uh, it is a source of high quality biodiesel. The cluster wind or goa, it is used as a gum that made uh, gum made from its seeds is used in the extraction of cell gas, right? So that's why B is the answer. Cell gas is related to the first turbine or over. Which of the following national park has a climate that varies from tropical to subtropical, temperate to arctic? Tropical to subtropical. What do you mean by tropical? Tropical means high rainfall. Okay, high rainfall areas are called as tropical areas. So, Kanchanjana National Park, Nandadevi National Park, and Nirav National Park is in West Bengal, right? It is number of National Park. We call that a situation in Orange or is Orange. So, D is the answer. Tropical to subtropical, D is the answer. 
okay Consider the following pair Dumpha Tiger Reserve Mizoram, Gomti Wildlife Sanctuary Sikkim, Sa uh, Salamati Peak Nagaland. Which of the above pairs is correctly matched? It is uh, 1, 2, or 3. Dumpha Tiger Reserve Mizoram, no, this is not Sikkim. Gomti is not Sikkim, it is in Tripura. Gomti, it is in Tripura. Wait. So, Dampa is Mizoram, this is right. Saramati is in Nagaland, pick that we get in Nagaland. So, 1 and 3 options we will write C is the answer. Consider the following statements regarding Earth Hour. Earth Hour, it is an initiative of UNEP and UNESCO, not an environmental program and UNESCO. It is a moment in which the participants switch off the lights for one hour on a certain day of every year. It is not by UNESCO, no, it is by WWF, right? It is not uh, by UNEP or um, UNESCO. It is a moment in which participants switch off the lights for an hour for a certain day of every year. Yes, yes. It is a moment to raise awareness about climate change and need to save the planet. Yes. So, two and three options will be right. When UNEP is established in 1972, Nairobi headquarter is the Kenya, Nairobi headquarter, Nairobi is the headquarter, Nairobi, Kenya is the headquarter of UNEP, and UNESCO is established in 1945. 1945. Paris is the headquarter of UNESCO. Paris is the headquarter of UNESCO. If a wetland of international importance is brought under the Montreux record, what does it imply? Montreux record. Montreux record, Vienna Convention, Egali Agreement, they depends on, yes, sorry, no. Montreux, sorry, yes, Montreux record, so it is uh, Montreux record, wetland, yes, interesting importance is what on Montreux record, changes in ecology character have, have occurred and occurring, likely to occur wetland as a result of human interference. The country in which wetland is located should enact a law. No, not for or just for a uh, particular uh, wetland. Law cannot be implemented. It, is, it can be done by simply a decision by the Council of Minister or by gadget notification or by delegated legislation. The survival of the wetland depends on cultural practices and tradition of certain communities living in its vicinity. It doesn't mean that it will come out of the Record it is declared in certain world at the side, so all the options right is wrong. One one only of A is the answer because changes in the ecological character have occurred, that's why all occurring or like to occur in wetland as a result of human interference and that is a threat to the biodiversity of a particular wetland. Okay, so A is the answer. Which of the following national park is unique in being a swamp with floating vegetation that supports rich biodiversity? Bhitrakarta National Park, Evul Lamjo National Park, the Kailadiul Ghana National Park, Sultanpur National Park. Unique means smart floating vegetation. If you see floating vegetation or kumdi, they are also called as kumdi, where Sanghai deer is, uh, Sanghai deer is generally uh, present, that is in the Kevul Lamjo National Park. Cable Mountain National Park, Kumdi or Sunday Day or floating habitats is seen in those areas. B is the answer. With reference to the Re India Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited, IRADA, which of the following statements are correct? It is a public limited government company, it's a non-banking financial company. Regarding IRADA, it's a non-banking financial company. 
facts and commonly also it provides loans with respect to and also uh, with the provides loans with uh, regarding renewable energy development so it's an nbfc nbfc are what are the features of nbfc they cannot accept demand deposit cannot accept demand deposit nbfc cannot be a part of payment and settlement can be a part of payment and settlement and it's a public limited government company it's a public limited government company both the statements are right with respect to renewable energy development agency limited it especially promotes the renewable energy by the government of india Next question. Which of the following is best describes the aim of? Which of the following best describes the aim of Green India Mission of the Government of India? Incorporate, incorporating the environmental benefits and costs into the union and state budgets, thereby implementing the green accounting, launching the second green revolution to enhance agricultural output so as to ensure food security to one and all in future. Restoring and enhancing forest cover and responding to climate change by a combination of adapt adaptation and mitigation measures. <coughs> Which of the following statements are correct with respect to Green India Mission? No, in incorporating environmental benefits and costs into Indian state budgets. No, this is not Green India Mission. It's not about budgeting. Launching of second energy revolution, no, it is not about agriculture, it is about restoring and enhancing forest cover, responding to climate change, combination, adaptation, and mitigation measures. What do you mean by adaptation? By adaptation, you exist in the environment, same conditions, you do not add. Suppose, for example, climate change, what is, or for example, global warming, right? What is adaptation regarding global warming? If so, atmospheric temperature is increasing, you are purchasing an air conditioner or AC. That is adaptation. You exist in the same environment, but you are not feeling the effect of power warming. What, what is mitigation? Mitigation is when you plant a tree. You address the original concern, right? For example, there is flood, issue of flood, right? You are uh, you are creating a barricade or that is called as adaptation. Or you are creating disaster, disaster risk reduction infrastructure that is adaptation. But I do not add is the original cause of cyclone or flood. So that is mitigation always uh, mitigation always stops the cause, addresses the cause. So three only option is the right answer regarding Green India Mission of Government of India. If you want to see Ghadiyals in the natural habitat, Ghadiyals. What is the natural habitat of Gariyas? It is Vitrakaniya mangroves, Chambal River, Polikot Lake or Deeparbal Lake. It is a Chambal River, right? Chambal River is the natural habitat of Gariyas. Biological oxygen demand is a standard criteria for measuring oxygen levels in broad computing oxygen levels in forest ecosystem. Biological pollution in aquatic ecosystem assessing oxygen level in higher altitude regions. What is 
biological oxygen demand which is the answer here is c but when biological oxygen demand demand increases here we have to uh, understand three procedures one is eutrophication eutrophication what do you mean eutrophication it is addition of sewage okay addition of nutrients or sewage into an aquatic environment is called as nutrition and sewage into an aquatic into and you see this in an aquatic environment is called as eutrophication next is then what is what happens when addition of the then the algal bloom occurs what is algal bloom algal bloom when these nutrients are get added when because of this these nutrients the algae the algae in a environment that increases right algae increases the aquatic species the plant species inside the aquatic environment that increases and after some time they die and when they die they decompose and when they decompose they utilize oxygen they utilize dissolved oxygen when they decompose they utilize dissolved oxygen and this it is it is called as the utilization of dissolved oxygen it is called as algal bloom this is called as algal this is this utilization of dissolved oxygen that lead to reduction of oxygen right oxygen level reduces this is called as and that lead to bod increases what we say that bod increases the demand increases as oxygen level decreases the biological oxygen demand increases so when aquatic environment becomes polluted the bod increases the demand of oxygen increases but oxygen decreases okay so c is the answer consider the following statements in respect to trade related analysis of fauna and flora in commerce traffic trade related analysis of fauna and flora in commerce or traffic traffic is a bureau under the united nations environmental program unep the mission of traffic is to ensure that trade in wild plants and animals is not a threat to conservation of nature unep the mission in traffic is to ensure that trade in wild plants and animals is not a, is not a threat to the conservation of nature so Okay. First statement is from traffic. It is an initiative of IUCN and W IUCN IUCN and WWF. Okay, so first statement is wrong. The mission of traffic is to ensure that trading wild plants and animals not a threat to conservation of nature. Second statement is right. Okay, it essentially stops the uh, trade of wildlife and plants. I use it in W of the worldwide fund for worldwide fund for nature, right? That is the world uh, wildlife fund, world wildlife fund, world wildlife fund. and iucn that they have established traffic next consider the following statements asiatic lion naturally found in india only asiatic lion double hop camel naturally found in india only one hand rhinos naturally found in india only what is uh, first statement is right 
एशियाटिक लायन इट इज फाउंड इन ओनिया इंडिया ओनली डबल हॉर्ड कैमरेट इज फाउंड इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया वन हंड राइट इज आल्सो फाउंड इन नेपाल सो वन ओनली ऑप्शन इज द राइट आंसर एशियाटिक लायन इज एंडेमिक टू आवर गिर फॉरेस्ट गिर फॉरेस्ट इट इज इन नियर द वर्निंग ग्रास लैंड इन गल्फ ऑफ गर्निंग ग्रास लैंड इन इन द कच रीजन ऑफ गुजरात कच रीजन ऑफ गुजरात Momentum for for change, climate neutral now, is an initiative launched by Momentum for Change, climate neutral now, is an initiative launched by even FCCC Secretariat. C is the answer for climate change to come to counter climate change. C is the answer. Even FCCC Secretariat has launched Momentum for Change, climate neutral now. So, advocating for climate neutrality, India has promised to become climate neutral by 2000. 70 China has promised by 2060. The Germany has been to, to carbon neutrality by 2025. G7 countries have promised to be carbon neutral by 2050. Okay. Act two code of practices. What is Act two code of practices? It is a constituted tool available for promoting adoption of environmental responsible practices in electronics recycling industry. wetland in ecological management of wetlands and international importance under ramsar convention sustainable practices in cultivation of agricultural crops in degraded wetlands environmental impact assessment in the exploitation of natural resources what is act two code of practices answer is one that is environmental responsible practices in electronic cycling industry so a is the answer then what is triclosan triclosan is is considered harmful when it is exposed to high level of long time high levels for a long time most of the present which are the following these are the properties in the soil right triclosan so d is the answer leaf litter What is what do you mean by leaf litter? Decomposed hamster, the leaf litter, the leaves fallen from fall from the trees. Decomposed hamster in any other biome, as a result of the soil surface, is often almost bare apart from trees. The vegetation is largely composed of plant forms that reach up to the that reach into the canopy vigorously. Climbing the trees or growing as epiphytes, rooted in the upper branches of trees, which is the most likely description. It is especially if it is decomposed faster than any other biome. Obviously, this is tropical rainforest. In case of tropical rainforest, it will decline much faster. So, it is answer is B is the answer. Okay. Which of the following is the abiotic component environment? Which of the following are the abiotic components of the environment? Topography, radiation, gravity. Abiotic component. Abiotic component is not living component. So obviously, topography, radiation, all the three are abiotic components. Abiotic components means which has life. For example, species, wildlife species, plants. They are the biotic components of a environment. In the ecosystem, the organisms which are incapable of producing their own food, incapable of producing their own food, are called as uh, saprotrophs. Okay, they are not able to produce their own foods. They are support. Do uh, they are saprotrophs? When they are incapable, okay, sorry, 
this is called as phagotrophs in their incapable to the their phagotrophs but sapotrophs are the microorganisms they are also not producing their own food but the definition of this links to phagotrophs so this is the answer that is as per the definition then consider the following statement ecotons are capable of maintaining their own equilibrium yes ecosystem they maintain their own equilibrium right a particular number of species is maintained for example tiger species if tiger species become too much then what will happen they will eat uh, huge number of um, the huge number of deer so after that uh, the species of deer will reduce and the tigers will not get huge amount of food proper amount of food so obviously then tiger population will also decline when tiger population will decline then the their population will increase so it is a, they maintain their own state of equilibrium it is right they can regulate their own species structure and functional process yes the cooperative ecosystem self regulation is known as homeostasis so which of the following statements are correct your answer is d uh, all options are correct homeostasis is the capacity of ecosystem of self regulation okay then ecotone in the junction is a ecotone is a zone of junction between two or more diverse ecosystem the mangrove forest represent an ecotone between marine and terrestrial ecosystem ecotone i have already explained ecotone yes. the junction between two or more diverse ecosystem is called as ecotone right mangrove forest that is the mangrove forest is the between ecotone between marine and terrestrial ecosystem and age effect age effect is the number of biodiversity High number of biodiversity in, the, in those areas are known as as effect. So one, two, both one and two are correct. Consider the following statements regarding the tiger estimation. All the all the tiger estimation is done every in every four year once. It is right. It is it is steered by National Tiger Conservation Authority (NTCA). Technically supported by the Wildlife Institute of India (WI) uh, Wildlife Institution of India, implemented by State of Forest Department and partners. Both the statements are correct regarding tiger estimation. Currently, we have three one six seven of total number of tigers in India, which is significantly higher than the previous years. Okay, so the estimation, so the discussion ends here. And uh, like this video and share and subscribe to one place. Thank you.